Hi everyone, my name is Andy and welcome to All the Lonely Meeples. On this channel I share solo playthroughs of various board games, including tutorials on how to play. As always, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video features the second game in my favorite Roll and Rights series, Part 3, and that is La Grania No Siesta, a 1-4 player game designed by Andreas Odendahl and published in 2016 by Stronghold Games. Now, if you're ready, let's jump right in. There are a lot of components for La Grania No Siesta, the dice game. First, what we need is our two boards here at the top. You have your siesta track. You want to make sure that it is on the, the single player side. This is the two player side, two to four. So you want that on the single player side. Next, you'll want your market track. That also has, it is also double sided. There's a single player and then the two to four player. So we'll make sure that that is on the, the single player side. You'll need one of your player boards. Mine is laminated and I'll be using a, a, a dry erase marker, but it does come with unlaminated sheets, a pad of those, and pencils in the game box. You'll need your resource track in one of the colors and all eight of your, your colored discs. You'll also need four discs of a different color for the neutral player. You will need your, your helper tiles, which on the back side is also uh, in each player color. There are six of those. You'll need seven of, I believe there's nine resource die. We'll talk about each of those. And then all of the roof tiles with different resources on them. Now let's talk about what each of these boards does. In La Grania No Siesta, the dice game, we are going to be, on our player boards, we are going to be expanding our farms with several types of resources and sending them out to the local markets as well as, as, well as the markets overseas to try and score the most points. To do that, let's take a look at our player board. On our player board, we have several features here. At the very top, we have where we can accumulate roof tiles. And so the roof tiles have different resources on them. And to do that, we're going to be spending this resources for coins. So to spend a coin, by spending a coin, we can mark off one of these, uh, these circles. And once, they're, once both circles are filled in, uh, we can choose a roof tile and gain those resources. And at the very bottom, uh, if you see these ones and twos, and any points, those are the points that you earn for filling in certain spots on the board. And we go from left to right, so the more roofs, roof tiles we get, uh, the more the next one's going to cost. Over here in this section are our helpers. So the helpers are going to grant us special abilities. There's six of them. Some of them are single use only, some of them are throughout the entire game, as long as you have them, and we'll talk about those more in depth later. But to do the helper, to achieve a helper, you can do any of these. They don't go from left to right. These ones over here, the easy ones, take two resources. Like for instance, this one is a pig and wheat. And so once I've used resources to cross those circles off, I can get, choose one of, my, one of my helpers. Over here, the ones that are worth points at the end of the game, they're gonna cost me more resources to achieve. Down here, are our uh, stables and our, I think it's the farmhouse where we, the storage where we store our, our resources. So we have olives, wheat, and grapes, and then pigs and donkeys. And so anytime here it says a one coin and then multiples of them all the way over to the right. So anytime I complete a, a column of olive, wheat, and grape, I'm gonna receive one point and I can continue doing, doing that from left to right. Likewise, if I complete columns of pigs and donkeys, I'm also gonna receive one point. And those are gonna be tough choices because all of these resources, I could store them, but I could also use them anywhere else on the board. Over here are the local markets. So in order to do a local market, this is, these are our majority points. Uh, first one to, re to, um, to finish the markets, the small market, the medium market, and the large market will receive the big points, and then the, the next person will receive the smaller points. To do this, 
I do need a donkey. And then the first one is donkey, the second one is two donkeys, and then three donkeys with the dice that I roll. And then in order from left to right, kind of shows an arrow right here, I can start using my resources to cross off these resources. So for instance, if I rolled three dice, one was a donkey, one was an olive, and one was a wheat, I could use all three of those to start crossing these off. Once I get to the finish, to the last one, I can, we'll talk about what these special resources are, and then I would receive the, the points based on whether I was first or second. And then over here are our overseas markets. Anytime I have multiples of a resource, so specifically three, and there are ways that I can uh, achieve you know, uh, multiples of a resource throughout the game, I can go overseas and cross those off and spin them and get a special resource. And those are gonna be two points for each one that I can do. That's the board. Now let's take a look at our Siesta track and our market track. Let's take a look at the market board. For the market board, this is where we're going to be placing our discs in the game, maybe once or twice, be nice if it was twice, um, for in-game scoring. And each of these sections on the market board pertain to one of the sections on our player board. And we're going to receive additional points based on how well we do. So to do this on our player board, if we come down here to the local markets, as I mentioned, if we bring the, the required goods in one of these three markets, the top, middle, or bottom, and hitch donkeys to them, we can not only receive a commodity, but we can also move one of our discs onto the market board. And that's how we're gonna do that. So it is good to place things uh, elsewhere, resources elsewhere on the board, but we do need to pace ourselves so that we can get some in-game scoring. The siesta track here is gonna be used as both the timekeeper in the game, along with the roof tiles, and it's gonna be where we compete with the neutral player. So every time dice are rolled and we have the siesta hat, we will be moving our disc along the siesta track, trying to reach uh, the end space. That's one way that the game can end. Likewise, depending on what resources we give the neutral player when we, we roll our dice and take some for ourselves and give some to them, that will decide if the neutral player moves along this track as well. And here on the board, uh, on this space and this space, certain events are going to trigger if the neutral player reaches those spaces. And specifically, those are the local markets. So I will explain a little later in the game, but they are gonna start with one of the local market carts already completed and receiving those points, basically blocking us off of those main points. And we'll roll for those. As we go throughout the game, this is gonna simulate other players uh, finishing those local market tracks. Now let's talk about the dice and our resource board. As mentioned earlier, in the solo game, we're gonna be playing with seven of these resource dice. And every dice is the exact same. It has one of each of the uh, six resources on it. We have uh, cattle or donkeys. We have pigs. We have the siesta hat. We have grapes, coins, and olives and wheat. So on this side, you are allowed to take both of them if you have the discs. And I say discs because we're going to be, before we even write on our board, as we are taking resources for ourselves and giving them to our neutral player opponent, we're going to be taking four of our discs that we have access to and placing them on our board to indicate what we have. This is important because one of our helpers allows us to move these left and right and change our resources. So like we're, we're exchanging resources for other goods. And in that way, let's say I, I rolled uh, or took two dice with the coins and I had the helper that allowed me to one time each turn move left or right. I could, in theory, trade my, my pig for another coin, thus giving me three coins to ship overseas. 
and throughout the game I'll be able to uh, acquire more discs to gather more resources, but at the same time I'm going to be trying to use those discs in the local markets and play them here for final scoring, in-game scoring. So there's a good balance of collecting discs and at the same time using them appropriately for in-game scoring. And now let's set up for a solo player game and explain kind of what we're doing with the neutral player. To set up for the solo game, there are several steps we need to take. First, we need to make sure that our Siesta track and our Market track are on the single player side, the, sol the solitaire side, as indicated in the top left. Then we need to take four of our resource trackers, markers, placing them underneath our resource track. One of our markers we're going to place at the bottom left of the Siesta track. Likewise, we're going to take the neutral, one of the neutral player tokens and place it at the bottom left of the resource track. For this game, I'm going to be the blue player, and the neutral player will be red. Hopefully easily distinguishable uh, on camera. Next, we're going, to take, we're going to take our roof tiles. We're going to randomly take six of them. We'll just take two, four, and oh, six. The other 18 are actually going to go on this space here on the track because the 18 roof tiles are going to be the other timer in the game. So during the game, every round, I'm going to take one of the roof tiles off of this space. And once we're done with all the roof tiles, that is the end of the game. I'll try not to knock it over. <laughs> And I'm just going to do a couple. I'll do a couple uh, stacks here. Your six helpers, you can have them face up and over to the side of your board. When we achieve helpers, I like to put the helpers on the left side of my board. If, however you want to do it, make sure you know which ones are not in use. Um, and oh, I'm sorry, they're not going to go on the left side of the board. They're actually just going to go right over top the uh, the helper sections on your board. And with that. Let's go into specifically how we play with the, with the, in the solo game and the neutral player. Very quickly, I want to go through and explain what we're doing with the neutral player throughout the game and how they're going to interact with us. And then we will reset and start the game. So first, every round, we're going to take one of our 18 tiles, right, roof tiles right here, and we're going to take it and set it off to the side indicating that the round has begun. Once all of these are taken, the 18 rounds, the game will be over, because in the solo game, we're not allowed to go more than 18 rounds. Then we're going to take one of our die, and we're going to roll it. And the reason for that is, at the start of the game, the neutral player is going to start with having already finished either our top, our middle, or our bottom local market cart. And let's go ahead and give it a roll. It was a little... A little lopsided, but we'll take the, the donkey. And so in our book, on page 25, it does say what each uh, side of the die will represent. The olive, the wheat, and the grape will be the five victory point cart. The pig, the coin, will be the seven victory point cart. And then there is actually a misprint in here. So it's the donkey, and then it looks like it's the uh, commodities box that we see on our board. I believe that's supposed to be the siesta hat because the die, the dice don't actually have the commodity on them. So in this case, he actually already took the nine point victory uh, cart from us. So what we would do is we would go on our board and just cross off that nine, like so. Therefore, when we do it, we could receive our seven points. Likewise, on the market track, Marker track, each of these in-game scoring bonuses on the left side has an icon. And depending on what we just rolled, we're going to put one of their the neutral player's scoring markers on there already taking it. And he took a good one. The donkey is one point for every, every resource token you have in play. I believe it's including this one, but I'll have to double check. So that's, these are all pretty even. Um, you know, five to seven or so points, but that's uh, so he would already take that at the end of the game. For the first round of the game, after we've taken the timer, 
one of the roof tiles to, to mark the round. And we've decided which of the the carts the uh, the neutral players already taken, along with uh, the scoring in the market. We're going to set aside two dice. They're not going to be used the first round. And so, what we're going to do is I'm going to roll all five of these dice. The first one I get to pick is for me. So I have a coin, a donkey, a pig, a, a grapes, and a hat. Siesta hat. And reminder that the siesta hat will allow me to move up the track. And this is where I'm going to explain how I can manipulate the neutral player throughout the game. Because depending on the dice that they receive, uh, they will be able to or not be able to move up the siesta track. And so let's just say I take I take a coin. I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the die over here and give one of these dice to the neutral player, and when I take a die, there's actually two different spots on this track, on this uh, siesta track. There's a lower, lower box and an upper box. And so I'm gonna put it on the right side of the lower box, and that's important because the left side tells me something really important, and I'll explain that in a second. Then, just as in the normal multiplayer game, we get to re-roll the dice. And now I have a pig, a donkey and a grape, and I'm going to take another one, and I will take, um, I'll take the, I'll take the donkey, and I'm going to give another dice die to the neutral player, and I'll give them a pig. Finally, I will re-roll this dice, and I'm going to take. That's awesome. I'm going to take the grape and the wheat. Next, I'm going to take my resource tokens. I'm going to place them on my board, depending on what I got. So I got a coin. I'll put one there. I got a donkey. And I got a wheat and an olive. Now, the reason we put this on the resource track, it seems a little silly at first, and it is at the beginning of the game. But we put it up here to mark it because if I have the ability to move resources, um, we're going to move them one space to the left or the right. And on our board, every resource can be exchanged for another except for the siesta hats and the commodities. And a commodity is a wild resource. And there is a line here on the resource board telling me that um, only these can move left and right. So it might be a little silly at the beginning of the game, but as soon as I get a worker that allows me, for instance, this one, this helper allows me to, one time each round, move a resource left and right. That's going to be, that's why we put them on the resource track. And once I'm done with that, then I'm going to look at the siesta board, the siesta track. And on the left side, let me go ahead and move all these, and I'll show you what it looks like. So on the siesta track, the two dice that I give the the neutral player, it says, if I give them a siesta hat in one of the two dice, I don't move them up the board. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sacrificing a possible hat for myself and giving it to them so that they don't move on the board. So if both of these dice, not, neither of these dice have a hat, the neutral player is gonna move one step closer to the end of the game. Then, I'm going to go ahead and use my resources. So let's say I haven't moved any of my resources. I can, I can, I have a grape, a wheat, a coin, and a donkey to, uh, to use. And so I'm just going to go real quick. I'll use the coin up here. Um, I'll use the donkey down here. So what I'm doing is I went ahead and marked a coin on the roof, marked a donkey down here for my, my smallest cart. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and use the, let's go ahead and use the olive and the wheat like that. And I was able to use them in order. Once that's done, the round is almost over. The last thing I need to do is I'm going to take these two dice and they're going to move up to the top. And this is really this is really the important part. It's a little bit of upkeep each round, but um, it pays off in the end. In the in the second round and every round following, 
this two dice that I set aside, I'm going to move them back. And now I have my five dice again. And now when I take one of these, let me move these back here. Once I take another uh, roof tile for the round, so now I'm on round two, and I roll these dice. It's important because if I take any dice this round for myself that match the two dice up here, the neutral player will also move up the track. So I have the ability to completely manipulate what dice go to the neutral player, but at the same time, I have to, we have to think ahead every round, what do I wanna take? Because I'm gonna give them to the neutral player in the next round, and if I copy those dice, they're gonna start moving up the siesta track. And on the siesta track, I believe I mentioned this a little earlier, each time they, each time the neutral player lands on uh, a space with a cart, we're gonna roll the die again, and they're going to potentially take another cart from us and the main points. And that's what they're doing. I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't score, the neutral player doesn't score points, but they're gonna take points away from us. And this is gonna continue until, until all the roof tiles are gone uh, and we will end the game. And at the end of the game, how we score, we're gonna score for points on our board. We're gonna score for points if we've achieved any of our, uh, if we've been able to place any of our tokens on the in-game scoring here. And for this, is, this is one point per uh, token that I have access to. One point for every, every filled warehouse on my board in the bottom left. This one is one point for every roof tile that I have on my board. One tile for every stable. One tile, or one, I keep saying one tile, one point. <laughs> one point for every helper I have, and one additional point for every overseas, overseas shipment that I've given. Additionally, if I am ahead, if my token is ahead of the neutral player, I'm gonna receive points for the difference between the two. However, if the neutral player is ahead of me, I'm gonna receive negative points for the difference. So I want to stay in step with the neutral player, but if I have several rounds of opportunities to move farther ahead, I'm gonna to wanna to do that. For the helpers and the roof tiles um, and some more of the nuances in the game, I will explain as we play. And now let's play La Grania No Siesta, the dice game. All right, I have everything reset, <clears throat> and now we're ready to play La Grania No Siesta, the dice game. I'm gonna take two dice and set them aside. We're gonna start the first round by taking one of the roof tiles. Um, actually, before I do that, I forgot I need to take one die and decide and figure out which of the local markets the uh, AI is going to take. Ooh, the grape, let's see what the grape is. I think that's the one I really want. Okay, so the olive, the wheat, or the grape is gonna be the five victory points of the top cart. So we're gonna, they are gonna take the five from us. And on the board, grape is going to take away the in-game scoring for helpers. So we're not gonna be able to score for our helpers. I think that's okay. So we're gonna roll these five dice. Let's see, I'll roll them right here. Okay, so I've got two grapes, two coins, and a pig. Again, if I get a siesta hat, I can use it to move forward, but if I give one to um, the AI, the neutral player, um, they will not move up. And I think what I wanna do is let's go ahead and start with a coin. And I'm gonna give one to the neutral player and Whatever I give them, the next turn, they're going to, if I copy them, uh, they're gonna move up the siesta track. And this can get kind of tough. So I'm gonna give them a pig, and then I will roll again. Oh, excuse, close, I dropped the dice. Okay. 
So actually, I'm going to I'm going to take this one because it gives me two. It's the wheat. The wheat and the olive always go together. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to give him a pig, and then reroll. Okay, so I'll take another one of those. So now I did not give the neutral player a hat, so I'm going to go ahead and move him up one. That's okay. I'm going to give myself a coin, an olive, a wheat, and since I only have one more token, I have to decide what else I want. Um, hmm. Which one of those do I want? I think what I'll do is give myself another wheat. Okay. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and use these. And so I think what I'm going to do is the olive and the wheat. I'm going to go ahead. Hmm. Well, I know the coin I'm going to go ahead and use for this first roof. And I think what I want to do is use one of the wheats for this helper, like so. And I'll, I'll show it closer. And then I'm going to use the olive and the wheat to... We're going to go over here into our warehouse. Yeah. Okay. Like so. So I put one in the helper. I need a pig. I gave, <laughs> I gave uh, the neutral player both pigs. And if I take a pig, he's going to move up the siesta track again. And then I put my two in the warehouse there. And then I put my coin up here for a one of the six um, roofs that are, roof tiles that are available. Okay, so that is number one. And we will move these two up. And these two come to us and another roof tile gets taken off. In the event that I use all these roofs up, I will need to look in the rule book, but I'm pretty sure I can use the timer uh, roof tiles. Here we go. Okay. So no pigs, but I do have a siesta hat and I could give them the siesta hat, uh, stopping him from moving. And I kind of like that idea, but I get to go first. And I really like, I think I want to take, what I'm thinking of is a grape. I kind of want several grapes, one for this, to finish this, this first warehouse to get a point. But also, I, I'm not worried about this three points here since he's already taken the five. I kind of want to start working on the sevens or the nine. I do want a helper. I really want, uh, and when I, when I get access to a helper, I'll explain what these helpers do. Um... Hmm, so I'm gonna take a grape and I'm gonna give him the siesta hat. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a, oh, I'm gonna take the, oh, that's tough. I'm gonna take a siesta hat and I'm gonna give him, oh man, I'll give him a grape. And then last, Oh, a pig, and I've got to take it. Um, that's all right. So, grape, hat, and pig. And so I did copy. Oh, I gave him a siesta hat, so he's not moving. But I did take a pig, so he will move one. And I will move one for my siesta. And that goes away. I have a pig and a grape. I'm going to go ahead and take this pig for the helper. And I'm going to put the grape there for one point. Easy turn. So my helpers. So I think this is the one I'm going to take. So this means that one time every round I can move a resource somewhere else. This is my go-to every time I play this game first because it, it gives me another option for resources. And this one is every time I do an overseas shipment on my board. So when I have three of one kind. A resource and I use them, I get either a grape, a um, an olive, or a wheat for doing that action. This one says whenever I take root tiles, I take two and then choose one and discard the other. So a little more, some more options here. 
Um, this one says one time for each commodity, for each round, I can use a commodity as a siesta hat, because normally commodities are any other things on your board other than the hats, but this one allows me to use them to move up the track. This one's great. This one allows me to not have to have donkeys for the local shipments. That's also a really great one, because if I want to do this 9.1, I need to accumulate three donkeys also, Oof, and also has some siesta hats that I have to use and a lot of pigs. That's a tough one. And then finally, every time I complete a warehouse or the stables, I get a coin, which I just did, but it's not retroactive. But I am going to take this one, and I'm just going to put it right on top there. Okay. Now, these two come to me. And these two move over. Oh no! Oh, there, that one's the third one. <laughs> I knocked it off. There you go. These come up here. So now if I take a hat or a grape, I'm going to be moving him up. Here we go. Okay. Well. Hmm. Let's see. I like taking the pig because I can move it to a coin, and I kind of want to do that. I'm going to take the pig, and I'm going to give him the siesta hat. We'll roll again. Ooh! Triple coin. I'm going to go ahead and take a coin, and I'm going to give him a coin. And then finally, for my turn, I will take another pig. Okay, oh, this is interesting. So I have two pigs and a coin. So right now I have two pigs and a coin and I have my power that allows me to move anything over one. So I have to decide, do I want to use my coin for a roof tile? And they're all random things. They could be uh, just a point at the end of the game. They could be two resources, one resource. I don't know. So there's a gamble there, but it is one point to get a roof in a tile anyway. Or I can move my coin with my power, my helper, and get a commodity and two points. Oh, and the commodity can be any resource in the game uh, when I want. Hmm. It does take one of my my tokens though. So, hmm. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use this resource or this uh, helper. I'm gonna move it over to three pigs and we're going to ship all three of those pigs for a commodity. And so I do put one over here and I can use this right now if I want. Hmm. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use this commodity as a coin. And right there I have completed my first roof. So I'm actually gonna erase these X's and I'm gonna pick one of these six. Hmm, we'll choose this one. Oh, that's awesome. I just got another commodity. So I'm gonna leave that commodity there. I'm not gonna use it yet. When I use it, I will flip it over to show that I've used it. That was a pretty good turn. And he doesn't move. And so these come back. And so now if I take hats or coins, he's gonna move. Here's the next round. Oh, and the next round is round four. It moves pretty fast. Okay, that knocked my guy off and I'm right there at one. All right, so I'm looking for coin. Okay, I can give him a siesta hat. I'll probably do that. And it kind of stinks because I would love to use a coin. But I think I want to go for this middle, this middle uh, local delivery because it needs grapes. Hmm. And this next helper also needs grapes. So I'm going to take a grape. I'm going to give him a hat. And let's reroll. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm taking a hat because all three of them are hats. That's all right. Okay. And then I'll reroll. Oh, nice. And then I got the, the double, the olive and the wheat, a hat and a grape. Okay. 
So I did take a siesta hat, so he'll move up. And I don't think I'm gonna use it for anything else, so I will move up as well. And I gain another, now that I'm on this plus sign right here, um, I get another one of my people. One of my people, one of my resource tokens. Okay. I also have this commodity that I could use. Hmm. If I wanted to, I could use this commodity to double up a, a one of these resources and then move another one over. Hmm. I could move my wheat over and do two grapes and an olive and use my commodity for another olive and that would give me four of them for, for this middle row. I kind of want to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this ability to move my wheat over to my grapes. And I'm going to use both of these grapes for these first two sections. Let me, okay. So in the, the, the middle local delivery, I have my two grapes. Then the next one's my olive. And I said I was going to use this commodity for the olive, but I think I'm going to wait on that. I'd rather use the commodity for maybe the coin or the siesta hat. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. So these come over. I've used everything there. And these go up. And then we'll start the next round. I need to check something in the book real fast, and I'll be right back. Okay. The two dice sitting on the upper dice space on the central board are not rerolled. Okay. And now I am back. Here we go. So we have the, we are already in the uh, sixth round. And now I really want to stay away from the hats. Okay, so I'm glad I waited on the commodity because I can, I could take the double here and that gives me a, a lot of things to work with. I do need donkeys. <laughs> um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a donkey because my goal is to get the second helper here that doesn't require me to use any donkeys for the local deliveries. And I'm going to give him, oh, that was a donkey. I'm going to give him a donkey. Let's reroll. Okay. I'm going to take the grape. And I'm going to give him the pig. So I don't want donkeys or pigs next turn. And then I'll take the olive and the wheat. So olive, wheat, grapes, and donkey. Okay. I did not take any siesta hats, so he doesn't move, but he does move because there is no siesta hat here. It is hard to catch up with the neutral player, especially when these siesta hats are in rotation. I just need to roll a bunch of them and collect them to catch up. I'm trying to decide if I want to use my commodity this turn. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't think I do. I do have a whole set though for another one point. Hmm, that's really, that's really difficult. I'm going to use my donkey and cross it off on my next helper. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get these early. These are worth, these first two helpers aren't worth any points, um, but they're easier to complete. This grape for the second helper, I'm going to go ahead and, so I have now completed the second helper. I'm going to go ahead and erase those X's. And I, I have to decide what I want to take, but I think the easiest thing right now is to take this one. 
that when I do local shipments, I don't have to worry about donkeys because that is basically two, two free dice or three free dice um, moving forward. And now I've decided what do I want to do? Hmm. I think I really want to save this commodity for the siesta hat here on the on the uh, middle local delivery because that's the hardest one. So I think I'm going to use the the um, the olive. I always forget the word olive for that that middle row and. I can move the wheat to something else if I want. I think I'm gonna move it to, hmm, let's move it to a grape and we're gonna start the next helper, okay? So if I just put take these off my board real fast, here's what I have so far. I have completed these, I just erased them. These first two, that's where my helpers are. I moved my wheat over to a grape I've got the first four done on this on this middle track and still one in the warehouse. I also have a, a commodity sitting up here and I've overseas shipped pigs. I'll put everything back. Okay. Whew. And these will come to me. So now I don't want to take pigs or donkeys and that's okay because I don't need donkeys for this right now. Okay. I feel pretty comfortable giving him, giving the neutral play the donkey. Um, I could use another coin. That would be nice. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to take the coin and I'm going to give him the donkey. Okay, we're getting a little, ugh, he's gonna move up again. Maybe I'll try to ship coins this time, but I could have another roof. I think I wanna do the other roof. I'm gonna take the coin, give him the donkey. Oh, okay, well I can't give him the, the hat, but I can move up too, so that'll be okay. So I have two coins and a siesta hat. He is gonna move up because I uh, was not able to give him a hat, but I will move up as well. So I don't think I've ever been ahead of the neutral player. Oh, I need to move this one because I forgot to uh, throw another roof tile out there. I got ahead of myself. I've never been ahead of the neutral player, but I try to stay within two or three because they're going to be negative points. And now I'm going to, so I used my hat. I have two coins. I could get another roof tile or I could use my commodity for a third coin and ship them all. I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna use my two coins to get myself another roof tile. Go ahead and erase those and I'll draw one of these five. It'll be this one. Ooh, that is awesome. Two coins, two coins when I wanna use it. I could use them right now for the third roof. Hmm, oh, that's tempting, that's tempting. I think I'll wait. If I wanted to, I could actually use all three of the, oh man, do I want to use all three of them now and just ship? Hmm. I think I'm going to wait because I can do that now. I have this action where I have two coins and a commodity. I can make that three coins, ship, and maybe I want to try to get this helper next just to make that power a little more a little more powerful, that power a little more powerful. I guess that's a helper. All right, these two come back and now I just don't want to take donkeys and luckily I've set it up to where I don't need them. All right, oh, there's the other one. I was like, I should have five. Here we go, another roof tile, come. All right. Okay, so I have three coins already. I need a pig and an olive. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to give him the donkey. I'm, I'm going to try not to play donkeys too much. If I can give him to, if I can give him the neutral player, that'd be good. All right. I'm going to give him the hat. 
or, ah, man, yeah, this is tough. Hmm. Oops. I'm going to give him the hat so he doesn't move up. And I'm going to take the coin. And I will take a pig. Okay, so one, I got a, an olive, a wheat, a coin, and a pig. Not too bad. Um, he did get a siesta hat, so he does not move up. Um, I didn't get one either. Yeah, okay, do I want to move something? Oh, actually, so first, uh, this is actually working out really well. I have an olive, a wheat, a coin and a pig and my third helper requires a grape which I already did and so I have the I have the pig and the olive so those are gonna go away and I'm gonna erase these I get a coin for that and now I think this is the time to do this I'm gonna take this one whenever I ship uh, overseas I will get either a grape or a wheat or an olive all right. Now, unfortunately, he already took the points for the the, the in-game scoring for the helpers. That's okay. I'm gonna try to I, need to. I need to get. I need to get this middle track done so that I can. I can score something at the end of the game. Whew, that's tough. Maybe I should also focus on the the beginning track. Okay. So now I'm gonna use my commodity and my two coins up here. I'm gonna flip them over. That's three coins. I'm going to. Go over here to my overseas shipping. And I'm gonna ship coins and that gives me a commodity. Hmm. Okay. I said I was gonna save that for the siesta hat, but I don't, I don't think I wanna do that. Well, I can't do that now because I, oh, also the overseas shipping does say one time and that's one time per round. So I can, now I can't, find a way to make three of something else and do that power again. Okay, so I have a coin and a wheat and a commodity. I can use the commodity. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll go and do that. Actually, that's perfect. I wasn't even looking. I'm gonna use my coin for my middle track. I'm gonna use my commodity for the siesta hat. And then I'm gonna use my wheat for the wheat. So now all I need left is one more wheat for my middle track. And I got seven points and um, I'll be able to score something there. Ooh, and I don't know what yet. <laughs> All right. These come to me. These go up here. Another roof tile gone. All right, here we go. Oops. So I don't want to take hats or, or, um, donkeys. Well, I really do need the wheat. And I think I can probably, if I can give him two grapes, that would be really easy, uh, but he would move up another one. So I'm gonna take this, gives myself an olive and a wheat. Hmm, do I need pigs right now? I don't, so I'll give him a pig. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hmm, I don't want to take a donkey. I think we're both going to take, I think we're both going to take pigs. I try to keep his dice the same so that, um, uh, so that I have more options. Okay, well I have to take the donkey and that's not good because he's going to move up twice. Okay. So... Let me double check what happens first, because I'm pretty sure I think this is gonna I think this is gonna be bad. Okay. Mm. Okay, it does say end of round. Okay, so. I do the scoring first, then I'm gonna worry about these dice up here. So I've actually been doing it uh, in mixed order. <clears throat> so I have a pig and a donkey. Okay, so first I need to do is I need to use this wheat for my middle track 
and I get the seven points. Now I have to use one of these tokens to go up on the track, and I'm gonna I can do one point for every excuse me for every uh, disc that I have. That's that would be I'd have three points. One point for every line in my warehouse complete. That's one point right now. I have one point for every roof. That's two. I have no points right now for the stables. Or two points, one for uh, an additional one point for every um, overseas shipment I do. I kind of want to do that one. I think I'm going to have an easier time with that. I don't know why I feel that way. But I do. Hmm. So, hmm. Maybe not though. Maybe I will do. No, we're going to try it. I'm going to go and put this on the overseas. Okay. And I'm going to use my. Let's go ahead and try for. I'm going to use my movement to move this to a pig. And we're going to do two pigs down here at the bottom. And I'm going to use an olive for the top one. We're going to go all out on these on uh, these tracks, I think. Oh, maybe that's a bad idea. You know what? I'm not going to do the top one. I'm going to leave that right here. Okay, now we look. I did take a donkey, and I did not give him a siesta hat. Oh man, this is tough. And so now I'm gonna roll one, just a die, and he's going to now take another one of the carts. All right, here we go. So, and actually, it doesn't matter, because he's already taken, actually, let me see. I wanna double check. Okay, when reaching the first cart, which he has, he finishes a second cart. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what happens is he's automatically going to take this nine at the bottom, and then I'm gonna roll to see what he takes in the scoring board. And it's a coin. So he's going to take the the stables, and that's okay. I'm not I'm not even trying for the stables over here. All right. This comes to me. This goes over. Next round. And I only have three tokens now. I need to start moving. Okay. Oh man, this is tough. I do need to try to do more um, overseas shipping. So I think I want to take this, and I'm going to give him a donkey. I, I would love to get a siesta hat. Oh, man. Well, if I take the grape, that's another point right there. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Ooh. This is tough. But I need to try to do some overseas here. I'm going to give him a donkey. I don't want to take pigs, so I hope I don't roll a pig. I rolled a coin. Okay, so I have, oh, I only have three, not four, so I've got to be careful what I take here. And I will take, so I'm going to take the grape and the coin. And I will take Hmm. I'll take the wheat. Okay. Oh, this is tough. Um, I want to make the most of these. So I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to use the wheat and the grape to come here for another point. And the coin is going to... Do I want to use it for a helper? Or for another roof. I think I want to use it for a roof tile. Okay. I didn't take any pigs. 
So those will come here, but I did not give him a siesta hat, so he's gonna move up again. This is where it's gonna start getting, <laughs> I'm gonna start worrying about my score. And we will do the next round. Here we go. Okay, lots of siesta hats. So, oh, I think that was a pig. So now I don't want to take donkeys, but he takes a siesta hat and I take a siesta hat. I'm gonna move up and he's gonna stay the same. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna give him a donkey and I'm gonna take a coin. Pretty pretty fast because I want, I want to get another roof tile. Oh no, it's a donkey. I have to take it or I can move it. I'm probably gonna move it. So it, it won't end up being a donkey. Actually, I think it still has to be. Okay, so he's not gonna move. I will move up one. And, because in the rules it says, if the player chooses a die with a symbol that matches one of the dice on the top space. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I move it at this point. So, but do I want a donkey? I don't think I do. Hmm. I'll use a coin for right here. Actually, no, I'm gonna use the coin right here and I am gonna use the donkey because that is two of my three for the next helper. And I'm really looking maybe now at either commodities being turned into siesta hats or getting an extra coin every time I complete a warehouse, which I think I can do. Okay. All right, here we go. And I already moved him. Okay. These are come up. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're gonna move another one here. It goes pretty fast. Okay. So I do want wheat. Oh, this one goes over here. I have three. I do want a wheat, but oh, the problem with wheat is it takes, it. I don't have to take both. So I think what I'll do is I will take that for another helper. Hmm. Yeah, and I'll give him a donkey. We'll go ahead and give him the siesta hat. And I really don't need a pig, so I will take a grape. I'll reroll. I'll take a coin. All right. So I have four things here. I need to decide what I want to take first. Uh, I do want the wheat. I want the coin. And so do I want a grape or or an olive? And I don't think it matters right now. I'm actually going to take the grape. And here's why. I am going to move the grape over to make it two coins. And I'm going to take another roof. We're going to do that first. So there's four here. I'm going to take this one. And not really what I wanted, but it's an extra point. So every point will uh, help. And that space was two points. So that's a three point turn right there. And then I have my wheat. And that's going to give me another helper. And I think, I think now I'm going to go with this tile. So completing more in my warehouse will get me a coin, which I can use. Okay. Ooh, I did give him a hat and I, so he's not gonna move. I'm not gonna move, but um, I also didn't take a donkey. So that'll go here. Same thing. All right, for the next round, we're gonna take another roof tile. And here we go. Oh gosh, I need to stop rolling them so violently. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give him a siesta hat right away. And what am I what am I trying to do now? I guess I'm trying to, I'd like to ship stuff because that's my scoring. I'd like to move up the siesta track. Um, 
So I really do need, I need these two. That's gonna give me a coin right away. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take these two. I'm gonna try for another grape. Okay. Well, hmm. This is really tough because I don't wanna take a siesta hat. Um, because I'm gonna move him up anyway. But I do, I would like the coin. I'll give him this and we'll see if I can get that grape. One thing at a time. Hey, I got the grape. Now the problem is I can't take everything. So if I take the olive, wheat, and grape, that's gonna get me a coin already and I won't be able to use my coin here. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna forego the coin because I already have a scoring cube or scoring token there. I need to move up two more to get my next cube, my next token. That's tough. Okay. I guess these technically are over here. I have three more that I can have. Okay. So I'm just going to do all three of these to do another warehouse. And that gets me a coin and I'm going to use the coin for my next roof. I feel like this isn't going very well. We'll see. And I, I didn't take a hat or a donkey. And so he's not moving and I'm not, and I gave him a siesta hat. And all right, we have next round. One, two, three, four, five rounds left. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to give him a hat. Oops. At this point, I'm just going to try to keep it at negative four. I'm going to take a coin. Hmm. Oh, wow. I have to move him anyway. That's, that's tough. That's really tough. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I have to give him one. Um, I will give him, I'll give him the donkey. No, I'm going to give him the siesta hat. All right, here we go. And I got a grape. Okay, this isn't terrible. Um, so I have a hat, a grape, and a coin. This time, I'm going to move the grape over to the coin and take two coins for my other roof. I should have, I should have placed mine on the roof, my scoring. And I'm going to take another roof tile. Oh, and it's two donkeys that I do not need. <laughs> okay. Oh, I really don't need two donkeys. Although I could, I could move a pig over to a donkey and ship them. And I think I'm going to do that. Okay. I use the two coins. He is going to move up because of this, and I'm going to move up because of my hat. I think I want to do that. I've got to keep up with him. All right. Ooh, if you let the neutral player go too far, it gets really, really difficult to catch up. Here we go. Four more turns left. Oop. I'll give him the hat. And I will take, ooh, I could take the pig and do what I said I was going to do. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll take a pig. All right. Um, I will go ahead and give him the hat. And I will take this. And then finally, a pig. Okay, so I think what I want to do is, hmm, I don't think I need the second pig here. I think I'm going to go with these two. And I'm going to use my power to move my helper over here to move it over to a donkey. I'm going to use my, my roof tile with two donkeys on it. Flip it over, and I'm going to ship three donkeys. 
that does give me an extra point for scoring and two points for doing it, but it also gives me a commodity, which is fantastic. Excuse me. I think what I want to do now, hmm, I could use that for a siesta hat and try in the next um, four turns to finish this. Or I can go ahead and give myself another point here, which would give me a coin. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use it as a grape and give myself another coin. All right. He doesn't move. I always call him the neutral player he. I'm not really sure why. This goes. And we have our extra dice. We have three more rounds. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. There you go. Okay. Oh, and I should have given myself a coin. I... That's what I was trying to work on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give me the coin. Oh. Do I want to help her? Hmm. No, let's try for this one. Because if I can do that, that's three points. So I'm going to put that extra coin that I had gotten for this uh, warehouse right there. I think what I'm going to take this time is a grape. Hmm. No, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a grape and I'm going to give him a donkey. I'm going to give him a hat. And I'm going to take, oh man. I'm going to take a pig. And a grape. Oh, so close. Okay, so I have two grapes and a pig. And I can only move these with my power over one. And I was hoping to get a coin or somehow I can start shipping other things. So, in that case, I'm going to, well, I don't know. I think I'm going to move, I'm going to use my power. Hmm. I don't think this is looking very good. I'm going to use my power to move this over to a coin and that will give me possibly another helper. Yeah, this is three of the four here for two points. So I'm going to go coin, grape, and pig. We're going to try that. I might sacrifice one point later on for uh, my if I can get another hat. This is tough. All right. Uh, he doesn't move. I didn't take any hats. These come up. And we have two rounds after this one. Okay. Well, first thing, I don't want him to move, so I'm going to give him the siesta hat. And I'm going to take a coin. Yeah. Here we go. I really want to try to for that roof tile because it's three points. Okay, I'm going to give him the donkey. I'm going to take a coin. I would love to have a, a third coin. That would be, or a grape, because I can move it. Or a pig. Oh, and I got the third coin. Okay. Well, this is easy. Oh, I... So I can't ship coins overseas because I already did that. So I'm just going to put them all right there. And I'm going to spin them all for another roof tile. And I do care what the roof tile is, but I really care that this is a three-point roof tile. I really wish I would have put my scoring over there. So I'm going to choose one of these two. It's going to be this one. Oh, lovely. It's a donkey. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, I'm not going to get the other one. I'm just curious. A oh, wheat. Okay. Well. Okay. 
you know what? I'm just going to put a donkey down here at the bottom. Because uh, I already shipped donkeys. So, okay. I gave him a siesta hat. I did not take a siesta or a donkey. So we're going to move up. No one moves. It looks like I'm stuck at negative four for now. Two more turns. Oh, all the roof tiles, the options. Here we go. All right. This is the, I think that was a donkey. Here's an opportunity. Uh, I could move up again and take another one, but I think since it's two more rounds, I've stopped caring about moving up. I'm gonna take a grape. At this point, I'm really, oh, I could get another helper for two points. I'm gonna try this instead. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna take a coin and give him the hat. And we'll see what I do. Okay. Hmm, I got the wheat and the olive. So, I th could, I have the coin, I have an olive, and I could, I'm probably gonna do this, I, um, I could put this on the wheat, or the grape, but I can move my, oh no, I can't do that. Hmm, that's tough. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and move my coin over with my power to the grape. And I'm gonna get another point here with the olive, wheat, and grape. And when I do that, I get a coin. I have one turn left. I'm probably not gonna get three here. So I'm gonna just do it right there. Okay, I don't feel like I'm doing very well, but that's okay. I didn't take any hats or donkeys, so no one moves. And this is the last round. My sheet looks good, I just don't know. Ooh, my scoring opportunities here have been minimal. I'll give him the hat. I really want to ship another thing that's becoming hard to do. I can ship grapes. I can ship olives or wheat. So what I really need is to, hmm, I'm going to go with, maybe I'll go with this. I don't have to decide. Hmm. Until I don't have to place these until after. I just need three of them. All right, here we go. Okay. Give him a donkey. And I'm gonna take the grape. If nothing else, I can do my last warehouse with that. And a grape, okay. So, okay, so I have, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. That was what I wanted. I needed two of something because I have two grapes and I have one left. I'm not going to choose the olive. It's too far away. I'm going to choose the wheat because I think this is the better move. I'm going to use my power to move the wheat over to three grapes and we're going to ship them overseas and I get a commodity and I might as well use the commodity now and that commodity is going to be a siesta hat. Oh no, I can't use the commodity for the siesta hat. Oh no. I don't have this helper right here. <laughs> so I can't do that. Oh man. Okay. I'm just going to do it for this pig down here to get myself a point. Okay. And I gave him a siesta hat. I didn't take any, so we don't move. And that is the end of the game. Um, I will say this is against the neutral player. It's hard to feel like you're doing much. Because once that neutral player starts to move um, ahead of you, it's hard to get them to get ahead. Um, but let, give me a second. I will do the score, and I'll be right back. All right, so the, the score has been tallied. 
And with my roofs, I got 10 points uh, with the extra one on the roof tile itself. Helpers, I got two points. Long distance trade was two, four, six, eight. The, the warehouse and stable, I had five in the warehouse and one complete in the stables for six. The market barrow, I did complete that one for seven points. And <laughs> the Siesta track, I got negative four. And the market, I got um, four points, one point for each long distance trade. Uh, I said overseas trade in the game, it's long distance trade. And so that is a total of 33 points. Yeah, it's middle of the road. So if you look here in the back of the book on page 29, 20 points or less, it just says practice, practice, practice. 21 to 30, this is not enough to survive as a farmer on, I believe it's Majorca. 31 to 40, that's where I fell today. People start to take you seriously. That's good. Uh, 41 to 50, you have the potential to be a farmer. 51 to 59, you can make a living as a farmer on Majorca. And 60 points or more, oh, I don't even know how you do that. Congratulations, the estate of La Grania is now yours. Well, right now, I've never gotten uh, 60 points or more. I've been in the next category where I could be a farmer uh, in the 40s, but man, 50s and 60s seem insurmountable at this point, or unreachable at this point, but I've got to figure out how to, how to deal with the siesta track. And so thank you for joining me. That is La Grania No Siesta, the dice game. Thank you for joining me at the table for a solo playthrough of La Grania No Siesta. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and hitting that subscribe button. And feel free to shoot me a comment down below. Thank you again, and I hope you'll join me for my next video.